You know what gaming is, don't you? You ever hear about this thing that they're making, this brand new thing called, uh, video games? Huh? That's what we're playing today. I saw this game, uh, it was on Game Pass, and then I also just owned it, I think, from a Humble Bundle. Um, and I thought, you know what, this looks cute. Uh, it's got 69 on Metacritic, so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna say nice about that. Oh, f***ing trees. The trail ends here. You've gotta be kidding me. Did I take a wrong turn? Oh, wow, I'm so fast. Oh, fuck, tree! Ah, uh, yeah, magic trees, no big deal. Eichenfell must be close. Is Eichenfell the name of this school? Can I touch- Ah, uh, I got a stick! Another stick! Can I pick up this hole? Can I pick up this stump? I wanna- I wanna- who wants to hang out and do a stump burn with me? Let's go. I wanna take this small tree. I'm gonna run around this tree for a minute here. I hate that you're stretching the pixels. Oh, okay. Are you happier now? Is this better for you? Are you- are you pro-wood or anti-wood? I gotta know while I run around this tree, you gotta tell me. You gotta tell me if you're a lumberjack or not. That's in the Constitution. You gotta tell me if I ask. You a lumberjack, huh? You gotta tell me if you're an undercover lumberjack or not. You gotta tell me. I mean, I- I- like- you just have to tell me. That's the law. You know, I'm just checking. What if I find a bunny? What if I want to eat a roast duck? What if I want to eat roast beast? Where do I acquire roast beast? You tell me right fucking now. God damn it, I've been hungering and hankering and fucking big old slobbering for roast beast ever since I saw it in the fucking Grinch. Apparently that's not un- un- unsuel for a witching school. Unsuel. That's not unsuel for a wit- unsuel. That's not- Apparently that's not unsuel for a witching school! Stop, I can fail is no place for ordinaries. A uh, fucking normies be gone. Ah, uh, these are the incel ghosts! Normies, get out! You can't go to Reddit school! Damn it, I trained and I saved my Reddit karma, and I, uh, bought good golly, bye molly, good grolly, holly bolly, I'm gonna fucking get myself to Reddit school. And I'm gonna get my fucking Reddit diploma, and I'm gonna earn at least three Reddit gold per hour. Um, watch out, your hep is getting low. Not my hep, I'll eat this funny little mushroom. I- I'm just- I'm just the type of person, go out into the forest and eat a bunch of funny little, uh, funny little mushrooms, you know? Oh, I'm gonna eat rocks now. Oh no, I died, what a surprise! I got busted by the ghosts! Ugh. Stupendous job, my dear, what a strange power. Yeah, it's fire and shit. Bro, let me in. Let me in your funny school. Or I'll, uh, I'll burn down your forest. I have fire powers now. So, uh, why don't you, uh, let me in your funny little school and, uh, I won't burn down the whole forest. I guess that also wasn't a dream. Fuck, it wasn't a dream, it was real. There is just one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to explain in due time. All I know. You pet the cat. It's purring relaxes you. Fuck yes! Cats are save points! 10 out of 10! I'm fighting enemies made of moss. And my mom said I'm not an outdoor type person. Who needs the outdoors in real life when I have the outdoors in video game? A uh, mushroom. Oh, fucky Angie. Gotcha, bitch. Now fight me. I wish I did the- uh, mod this game so my character does Gangnam Style. I want my character to do Gangnam Style after every fucking victory. Right now, I just- uh, gang I do- oh, 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 no. Why? Why not? Why does the chat not want me to do Gangnam Style after every- every victory? Come on. Yeah, I've heard of K-pop. That's, uh, Gangnam Style, right? BTS, did they do, uh, Gangnam Style? BTS, they did, like, Gangnam Style, right? They're the guys who did Gangnam Style, right? They went up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. People be like, oh, Brendan, you're uncultured. Yeah, BTS, I, I, I've heard Gangnam Style. So, I mean, come on. Up, 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 up. Up a Gangnam, a Gangnam Style. Olive Garden in Philly? I really want to, but I don't think that, like, everybody else is gonna want to go to the, the Philly, uh, the Philadelphia Olive Garden. I'm gonna go and find, what's a sandwich place that sells a shitty Philly cheesesteak? Well, oh my god, Domino's Pizza. I'm gonna go and order a Domino's Pizza. Like Philly cheesesteak. I can get- I could probably get Corbin to order a Philly cheesesteak with me. Ooh, Subway! Corbin and I should go to Subway and get Philly cheesesteaks there. Corbin, David, and me. Hey, David, 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 we're gonna go to- we're gonna go to Philadelphia. We're gonna get some Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> oh, where are we going? Subway! That's just life. Brendan, be funny. I walked down to the gas station this morning and I got a piece of pizza and two energy drinks. They tasted really good, uh, like a heart, heart attack. Anybody else hate the way that they force feed you on airplanes? Like when you get on the airplane and the nurse starts putting peanuts into your mouth one by one. 
I can't wait until COVID is over so that when I fly on a plane and I get fed peanuts one by one by the airplane nurse, um, I don't have to worry about taking my mask down every time I want to eat peanuts from the airplane nurse. I killed a bird. Imagine going into a forest and a bird attacks you and you just light it on fire and throw it in the sky. That's just what I do. I just I, do, I just light a bird on fire and I threw it in the sky. Fight me, tower. This is a tower of... You've heard of the Tower of Babel. Have you heard of the Tower of Baby? I, that's why I, do, I like a lot of indie games that are just crusty as hell. It's like, this game is about Schlorp Fucko, who just like runs around and fucking does gross shit all day. What a great game. I love the game about Schlorp Fucko. Please tell me more. Schlorp Fucko was a really well-developed character, yeah. He had, he had triumphs, laughs, goofs, everything you need for a character. Oh, good. The main villain in this game is probably, uh, this guy, who is, uh, I think a pilgrim of some sort. He, oh, good, the Protestants are invading witch school. Thanks for, uh, hurting me, I guess. Thank you, Onceler. Thank you, evil Onceler. I can fall wall. Safina, I can fell wall. I can fell well, but Safina would never leave her hat behind. Uh, oh, shit. That crystal was witch booze! Her haircut is- why does her haircut look like a fucking hat? Why does it- oh my god, okay, why does it look like she's wearing like a fucking- okay. Why does she look like characters that are based off of the Monkey King in anime that aren't Dragon Ball Z? She has that spiky red hair of characters that are loosely based off of the, the, the fucking Monkey King from folklore. I feel like an old man! when I play some of these indie games, because I'm just like, every time everyone is named something in incredibly exotic, and I'm always like, I don't, Marit? Bumbly Humbleroid? I don't, I feel old. And there are a lot of real names that make me go, what? Like Caden, Jaden, Brayden, Axton, Saxton, Braxton. Those are all three real, those are all six real names. This guy got so much fucking energy pouring out his goddamn veins, he got, he got a heart in his hair. Then again, I'm, you know, wizards be crazy and shit, so. Let's have a little duel to see, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Oxley. I'm gonna turn you into a fucking goddamn bag of meat. They're gonna be selling you in the fucking fresh produce section at every Walmart in the state. Let's fucking go. Hocus Tickus Tacus? <laughs> Guys, look what a giant gave me. Magic beans. <laughs> I wanna go to the school, show me the school. I wanna walk into the castle and call J.K. Rowling a transphobe, please! Can wizards drive cars in this? Because, like, Harry Potter wizards, it's funny as hell to me that they don't know what cars are. The cultural divide between witches and wizards and human beings in Harry Potter is funny as hell. Like, what happens when Harry Potter get iPad? Will he know what to do with it? Will Harry Potter make Twitter and go and use iPad? Will he see, like, a YouTube video and go, THEY HAVE MAGIC PORTRAITS HERE TOO! Fucking muggles! Can wizards be forklift certified? Yeah, can they? Let me go tweet at JK Rowling. Hey fucker, can a wizard drive a forklift? You're looking a bit lost over there. Yeah, yes, yeah, Doc. You wanna you wanna tell me what I gotta do? Give me a little hint. Yeah, can you make me a sandwich? I want like a BLT, can I get um a club sandwich? Oh, okay. Or or just a drink. I think my character's underage. I don't know if, if she should be drinking potions. What if you're the- what if you don't have a sister and you were separated by magic and you were one person? And then they- they, they fuse you back together and you're a seven-foot-tall red-headed lady. Like a Steven's Universe type situation here. Honestly, I- I- one- one facet of alchemy I really like is the mortar and pestle. And I think that should be introduced into fast food franchises in some way. Like a really inventive way. Maybe to make the sauce? Or maybe like a hibachi grill with a mortar and pestle, like you hand them dried foods and they just do it in front of you. Because I think I'm always like, watching two things on YouTube is people using a mortar and pestle or uh, wasp nest destruction videos. That's usually my content loop on YouTube is uh, mortar and pestle Kit Kats, mortar and pestle drywall, mortar and pestle Big Mac. I hope her abilities are like just throwing potions all across the place. I want to throw some fucking potions. I'm still thinking about Gigantic and the th uh, like the the potion throwing bad daddy uncle. He gets stuck in my head pretty often, and I think that like in general FPS and third person games, it, I, honestly every game should have more potion throwing. We were uh, hoping we could borrow your tool shed key. My tool shed? Yeah, give me your keys. We're gonna steal all your fucking hammers and sell them. What'd that even be? Like Harbor Freight? I'm gonna take your tools to Harbor Freight and sell them back to the employees. <laughs> when I was working at Best Buy. Um, 
somebody brought in a bunch of old, and I'm talking like eight-year-old unopened electronics that I think they got at a garage sale, and they tried to sell them to me, like you would at GameStop. And I just, the, the most awkward 10-minute interaction where I had to be like, we don't take this stuff. Well, can I like return it, like unopened? This is all eight, eight to 10 years old, no. I think there was one of those, you know the uh, BB-8 droid with the ball on the bottom of it? He brought one of those in, but it wasn't the BB-8 one. It was way back when they first debuted and they were just a little ball robot without the BB-8 stuff on it. And I wasn't gonna take that. I think there were a bunch of old DVDs too. Like, I think there was a copy of fucking Diary of a Wimpy Kid maybe on DVD. It was just a bunch of random shit that it looked like he had scored at a garage sale trying to return it for store credit. People are fucking wild sometimes. Just the weirdest shit. It's like when people brought movies into GameStop to try to sell them to me. It's like, no. I mean, at, at one point, GameStop bought movies. But it was way past that point. No. I like that there are just, like, friendly ghosts hanging out and they look like fucking eldritch horrors. But they're, they're just good guys. They're just, like, cool guys. Oh, what kind of magic is this? It looks like fire. Yeah, let me just... Mmm, yum. Well, so I live in a fucking horrible haunted town, right? So my city is actually cursed. We're also a uh, satellite city for all the small towns around us within like 80 miles. So when people come into town, they do all their shopping, you know, on one day every month. And so they'll stop into the GameStop straight out of the fucking cornfield. And it's always, oh man, can I pick up a copy of Farming Simulator? Listen, farmers fucking love Farming Simulator. Farmers love two things that I never thought they'd love. Farming Simulator and drones. Farmers out here are going into Best Buys and buying like $3,000 drones. And I'm not talking about like 20 or 30 year old farmers, like 70, 80 year old farmers are out here going into Best Buys, buying a thousand to two thousand dollar drones and figuring out how to use them perfectly. So whenever an old fucking person tells me, I don't understand technology, I can't figure it out. Yes, they can. They just can't be bothered to learn unless it's something that interests them. Because I've seen 80 year old, 70 year old and 80 year old men show me drone photos and drone videos on their fucking phones and they have pulled up their phones and spent like 20 minutes minutes getting the fucking video up but then they show the video and it's like this fucking artisanal drones fucking shot and they are important for farming i understand that so there's a lot of need to figure out why and how they work but holy shit if you can figure out how to use a fucking drone without breaking it you can use your facebook's farmers doing drone strikes on each other's land <laughs> the hatfields and the mccoys but it's <laughs> drone <laughs> No, they use it to check their crops. So what they do is they roll it around their crops. They check for animals. They check for uh, coyotes. Um, it's very useful to just do perimeter checks without going all the way around the perimeter. Uh, a big thing that I've I, I've talked to uh, I've talked to a farmer before is like using them to figure out if there are coyotes on the land. Because if there's coyotes on the land, then they're gonna have to send like they're gonna have to go out hunt the coyotes get them out go to japan and eat it does japan have an olive garden does japan have an olive garden they do not it does not look good about uh, panama mexico el salvador canada costa rica brazil guam puerto rico hawaii there is a restaurant called olive garden it looks like in japan it's got four and a half stars on TripAdvisor on toyohashi it's, it's the number three ranked restaurant in Toyahashi, but it's not like a real Olive Garden, you know? And that's really what I want is that real Olive Garden experience. If I'm going to Japan, I want to eat good J Japanese cuisine like McDonald's. I want that good stuff. I want to eat McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, all, all the, all the, all the, all the good stuff. Go to Japan and experience limited breadsticks. This sucks. I didn't come to Japan just to get fucking limited on my breadsticks. Listen, Olive Garden's not even that good. I'd rather eat spaghetti out of the box. Trust me because like I have a fridge full of leftover Olive Garden from my wedding reception. Our fridge is half full of Olive Garden. Olive Garden is not that good. If I could, I'd probably never eat Olive Garden ever again at this point now. Not to trash on this game, but is anyone else kind of fatigued in pixel art for an indie game? Yeah, I mean, pixel art, like cute palettes. I, I, I tend to gravitate more towards FPS indie games anymore because most like pixel art cutesy indie games kind of, I'm, I completely burned out on them. Um, but I think, I think the combat system in this is fun 
and I think that I can kind of look past some of that stuff for a game. Put you in a glass vial, make you my little lantern boy. Oh, thank fucking God. <laughs> oh, shit. I feel strange. I feel funny. I feel silly and hilarious. Oh, sh what? No. What? No. What? Don't make babies. Stop that. Stop making babies. What do you mean second stage? Why is this a second? No. I'm fucked. I lost. Yeah, I fucking. I'm getting owned. I'm, I'm getting owned zone today. I only had one revive because I, I went in fucking ill prepared for this shit. Well, he destroyed all his skulls. Uh, I think they explode though, so. Yep. At one health now. Sick. Please make a baby. Thank you. You made three <laughs> babies. Please be dead. Nope. Okay. Uh, now please be dead. Now I'm definitely fucking dead though. Yeah. Game over. Restart battle. Thank you. This battle sucks. Second stage. Please don't have a third stage. Please don't have a third stage. Please don't have a third stage. I want to use fireball, but it's going to deal damage to me if I, if I do it here because the skull's right there. No, sh why did I do that? I'm stupid as hell. I forgot. Yep, I'm fucking dead. Fucking at again. Literally cannot do this fight. I'm going to have to load for my last save, which is in this hole. Okay. All right. It, it loads in the hole. I'm going to go back up and buy stuff. Rise and grind, Mr. Gamer. Rise and grind. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm just running out in the forest, killing a bunch of vegetation so that I can get to the point where, um, you know, I can kill a big fire that turns into a skull. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get that. I understand that. Valid. I played video games before. You know, back in my day when we played video games, they, uh, they were pretty cool. Going off into the forest to fight a couple of Moss Boys. It's Moss Boy fucking fall. Moss Boy summer still. People who like NFTs are the type of people who, who like, buy fucking self-help books. And like, not the good ones either. They buy like chicken soup for the soul at Goodwill and say, I'm gonna base my entire life around this. Imagine being the person who spent like 25K on the John Cena NFT. John Cena's uh, SummerSlam entrance too. It looks so fucking gross. Fake Mario John Cena? Thanks, no, I hate it. It's not the bird in the hand that is two in the bush. It's the two in the bush that is a bird in the hand. Oh, thank you so much. My life is fixed. I no longer, my depression has been cured. Thank you. My soul is healed from all wounds. What does that mean, chicken soup for the soul? I'm, I'm confused. What do you mean by fat sandwich? No, enjoy a fat sandwich. Your life is wonderful and beautiful. I'm confused. That's, that's the chicken soup for the soul books. They're just confusion and pain. No, but there is a chicken soup for the dog lover's soul. Uh, I found it and uh, the thing that came up was chicken soup for the soul, adult chicken, turkey, brown rice, dry dog food. What? That's a real chicken soup for the soul sells dog food. Chicken soup for the dog lover's soul is a real book you can buy. Walk your dog, manage your dog's time, make sure your dog takes a shower. Why'd you buy this book about dog showering? I don't know. It was a self-help book. I'm a dog lover. I need dog lover help. Oh, is there chicken soup for the gamer soul? Oh no, there's a board game. It's just chicken soup for the teenage soul. I just want to see what all the books are. A to B. Chicken soup for the adopted soul. Chicken soup for the African America soul. Chicken soup for the African American woman soul. Chicken soup for the soul of America. Chicken soup for the American idol soul. Chicken soup for the soul angels among us. Chicken soup for the cancer survivor soul. Chicken soup for the soul cartoons for dad. Cartoons for mom. Cartoons for teachers. Chicken soup for the country soul. Chicken soup for the Canadian soul. Chicken soup for the chiropractic soul. Wh what? Chicken soup for the entrepreneur's soul. Chicken soup for the fisherman's soul. Chicken soup for the golden soul. Chicken soup for the golfer's soul. Chicken soup for the horse lover's soul. Chicken soup for the horse lover's soul too. Chicken soup for the Indian teenage soul. Chicken soup for the Jewish soul. Chicken soup for the Latino soul. Chicken soup for the soul lemons to lemonade. Chicken soup for the mother of preschooler soul. Raid, hi Raid, welcome to the stream. I'm reading off chicken soup for the soul book titles. Chicken soup for the NASCAR soul. Chicken soup for the nature lover's soul. Uh, <laughs> chicken loop for the chicken soup for the ocean lover's soul chicken soup for the scrapbooker's soul the shopper's soul the sports fan's soul the tea lover's soul the teenage soul one two three and four the chicken soup for the traveler's soul chicken soup for the veteran's soul chicken soup for the writer's soul chicken soup for the soul woman to woman chicken soup for the soul wo working woman's soul there's so many chicken soups, and yet there's not a chicken soup for the fucking gamer soul. This sucks. 
How you got so many chicken soup for the souls and not one for the gamer soul? How you gonna have so many chicken soups and not one gamer? No gamer representation. This is bullshit. I'm calling my gamer lawyer. I love getting accidentally recommended youth pastor videos on TikTok. Some of my favorite things is just like, uh, you know, Judas was the first imposter. Or it could be said that Judas was the first imposter. Or the snake that gave Eve the apple was the first imposter. What do you think, chat? I mean, kids? Sorry, I stream on twitch.tv, the youth pastor 99. I stream on Jesus Gaming. Hello everybody and welcome back to Jesus Gaming. Remember, most games are sinful, but we're gonna explain why. Today we'll talk about how Lucifer was actually the first imposter. Oh, okay, cool, cool. They ejected Lucifer from uh, space. I mean, they ejected him into the uh, hell. No, Christians hate D&D because it's like the devil's food or whatever. You'd think they'd like it, but yeah, it's the devil's food or whatever because of the 80s. Christian-based D&D where you go, into, uh, uh, you go into scary places to convert people because your Lord tells you to. God bless. That was a big damage, yes. Yes! Please don't have a third phase. Please don't have a third phase. Please don't have a third phase. That would be not cool. Oh, we're in the fucking, uh, we're in the, um, we're in the other side. The upside down, like in Stranger Things. Oh, shit. That was a fucking good, good demigorgon. The red hair troublemaker? No. She a slippery one on a normal day. A uh, groundskeeper eat beef. There's no normal day. Me like keeping grounds. Me like walk around and cut tree down. Me like eating plants whole and stuffing beef in my mouth. Now all I gotta do is find all the secret stones and then Luigi will be freed from his imprisonment in, 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 in hell.